TGIF. Um, thank you for turning, tuning back in to Mama Sanity. It is Friday and a beautiful Friday at that. Um, I hope y'all have wonderful plans for the weekend. Um, today I want to talk to y'all about not quitting. Um, I know I've talked to y'all um, quite a bit in the past about not quitting, but I feel it's a very, very important subject because I know that um, everybody out there in the world somehow, some time has wanted to quit something big or something small and this is um, a very very important subject to me that I feel of of pursuing and, and trying over and not quitting so let's get started when things go wrong as sometimes they will when the road you're trudging seems uphill when the funds are low but the debts are high and you want to smile but you just sigh when care is pressing you down a bit Rest if you must, but don't quit. Life is strange with twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a fellow turns about when he might have won if he had just stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow, you might have succeeded with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to a far and feathering man. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victorious cup. And he learned too late when the night came down how close he was to that golden crown. Success is failure turned upside down, inside out, the silver cup tent of clouds of doubt. It may be near, uh, and you can never tell how close you are, it may be near when it seems so afar. So stick at, with a fight when your heart is hit it's when things seem worst that you must never quit. I really wanted to share that with y'all today because like I said, you know, many people are wanting to quit things big or small. And it is so important that you don't give up. You don't quit. If, if it's something that you feel in your heart of hearts that you're supposed to be doing or that you're called to do or that's very important to you, don't ever quit. Don't ever give up. Okay? Like my family, for instance. I love my kids in my life. I love my family. I love my kids more than anything in this world, right? And I've, but I've told you several times that's why I'm doing this because I go crazy sometimes. Okay? So there's been several times where I've come in my room and I've screamed or beat up a pillow and, ah, you know, or cried or just something. You know, just get that. Get your emotions and feelings out that you need to get, but get, get back up. You know, this is saying, what if the last time that you fell down, you feel like staying down, but what if the next time you got up, that was your chance? That was your time to, col to collect on your success, right? So I've told you before, we love to watch American Idol. Okay, so... The judges on American Idol, all three of them, have said they got no after no after no after no. Did they give up? No. Why? Because music was their passion. This is what they felt called to do. And look at them now. They are extremely successful. Okay, Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, Luke Bryan. Okay, crazy successful people, right? But they got they fell down. They got told no. They got told they weren't good enough. Okay, and I know you're probably thinking, like, who would tell these people they're not good enough? They're awesome, right? Okay, exactly. So maybe somebody's telling you you're, you're not good enough for this promotion. Or maybe somebody's telling you you're never going to lose that weight. You're always going to be fat. You're never going to be thin. Or maybe somebody's telling you you're never going to be beautiful. God made you the way you are, and it's not beautiful. Okay, in their opinion. Okay, these are their opinions. But that just pushes you harder and harder to try harder. Get back up out of that pit and keep going, blow after blow after blow, and you never know that next time you get up when you're going to reach on to that success. Okay, so okay, Christmas time comes around, right? And you know you hide the presents in the closet and you tell your kids, "Don't go in that closet," okay? And they know what's in there. That's just going to make them want to go in the closet, right? So I know like for me, if somebody tells me, oh, Brady, you'll never be able to do that, or you can't accomplish that, or that's never going to happen, that infuriates me, but gives me strength at the same time to tell, to tell that person and myself, no, I'm going to do it, 
okay? And I will do it, and I will succeed, and this will happen. Through the strength of God, it will happen. It may not happen now, it may not happen tomorrow, but it will happen. And I may get knocked down several times before it does, but I'm going to keep getting back up until I reach the top of the mountain, and I can tell y'all, see, told y'all I can do it, right? And like I said before, you know, there's times when you just feel like, Brandy, it's just not going to happen. It is so important you listen to me. Don't quit, okay? And this leads me to the next thing that I want to read to you. There's going to be very painful moments in your life that will change your entire world for in a matter of minutes. These moments will change you. Let them make you stronger and smarter and kinder. Learn from them. But don't go and become someone you're not and don't quit. Cry. Scream if you have to. Then straighten out that crown and keep on moving forward. Okay, so um, some of my kids' shows, um, we've seen this, and I've, I've, like I said, I come in my room and scream, and I've done this, the this, this scream pillow, um, and I don't know if y'all have seen it on TV that, you know, on the kids' shows, but my kids do it sometimes when they get frustrated. You know, I tell them, you can't just scream at the top of your lungs in the middle of the room when everybody's around or whatever, so they grab a pillow, and they just, ah! You know, and I know it seems crazy and silly, but it, it, it does. It works. You're getting your frustration out, and you just beat the pillow if you need to. We're just, ah! But the whole point is get back up. Try, try again. Do what you're supposed to be doing. Try something different. If what you've done in the past doesn't work, then don't keep repeating those, those mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Take advice from other people. Try something different. But don't give up on that dream or that passion. Like I said before, I'm never going to give up on my kids. I love them dearly. I'm never going to give up on my family and keeping my family together. Okay. So no matter how angry I get or frustrated or upset or just, ugh, you know, there's times that I just want to go crazy, rip my own head off. I'm never going to give up on my family because I love my family. So I'm not going to quit them. So I'm just going to try something different and try this and, you know, love them and, and do for them and, and work on it together, right? So no matter what, what it is, whether it's something huge like a lifelong goal of your career or, you know, a family or your, whatever it is or something small like a little project that you're working on, okay, don't give up. If you feel that's what you're supposed to be doing, then God's going to help you through it, and, and, and you will get through it, and just don't give up, okay? Um, I have three quotes for y'all today from Pinterest. The first one is, take a deep breath. It's just a bad day, not a bad life. My middle son, okay, I've told y'all before, he, you know, my life is horrible, you know, something goes wrong, and he just says, this is the worst day ever, this is, my, my life is horrible, my life is bad, or whatever. I tell him, no, your life is good, your life is not bad, what you're going through is bad, or what happened is bad, or the situation you're in is bad, but that doesn't mean your whole life is bad, right? And I know there's tons of y'all out there thinking, no, Brittany, you don't understand, okay? My life is bad, okay? When it rains, it pours. Trust me, I'm, I, I understand that. When it rains, it pours, and we get hit after hit after hit after hit, and it's just like, oh my goodness, God, how much more do you think I can take? Like, I don't, ah, uh, uh. And then it gets better, okay? You gotta think of the positive. And you're gonna struggle and you're gonna go through pain, okay? Pain is gain. You're gonna go through all that pain and all that misery, but you're gonna come out better on top for it, okay? But you can't give up. And this is saying, you know, just take that deep breath. And some of you are saying, Brainy, it's been a bad month. It's been a bad year. It's been a bad 10 years. I get it. I've gone through long periods of just bad after bad after bad. But look at me now, it got better. Okay, and things will get better day by day. Things will get better. Don't give up. Scream if you have to at a pillow, beat up a pillow, do, vent to somebody or whatever, which also leads me to a good point. A lot of times we like to, venting is totally cool. I vent to my mom, I vent to my husband, I vent to my kid. I vent all the time, okay? I'm not saying venting is bad. Venting is good because you're getting your emotions out. Um, but what I have learned um, over the course of the past few months um, through Joyce is a lot of us tend to go to advice to, we'll call a friend after friend or our, our spouse or our coworker or just whatever our neighbors or whatever and we'll just kind of 
you know, ask, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? And I'm not saying getting advice is wrong. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is the very first course of action we should take is saying a prayer to God. Okay, we should say, okay, God, what do you want me to do? Okay, and he will help you through it. And he may send that neighbor to you and you may have to tell that neighbor, okay, okay, I prayed to God about this and now you're over here and so, you know, what, what should I do? And you can figure it out. But God should always be your first choice to go to and say, okay, I'm dealing with this situation. What should I do about it? For instance, the other day I was confronted with an issue okay and I was kind of weighing the scales the pros and the cons okay if I address this issue it could cause further problems if I leave this issue alone then it can also cause further problems okay but you're trying to figure out okay I don't know what to do you know do I address it do I not address it anyway so what did I do I got in my car and I said a prayer to God I said okay God I'm gonna trust you on this okay if you want me to confront the issue you will give me a sign or you will put it deep down in me, you will let me know that I need to confront this issue. If I'm supposed to leave the issue alone, you, I know that you'll provide me with a piece of, you'll know that it's just the right thing, Brainy, to leave it alone. And I kid you not, several hours later, I got a phone call, okay, from that person, and it, the person confronted me okay and so that was God's way because I was scared to confront the person I didn't want to confront the person about it right and so he made that person confront me about it and it went very nice and simple and that was kind of the answer to my prayer of okay you need to conf you need to deal with the situation but I'm gonna help you out and send this person so if you just go to God first he'll help you out with with whatever you need help out. Like I said, I'm not saying don't go to anybody for advice. Advice is great. I'm not saying don't vent because I vent to people all the time, but God should be your first and foremost person that you vent to God. You know, there's times that I get down on my knees and I'm just screaming and I don't understand, ah, you know, and we work it out or whatever. And then, you know, I can go and vent to other people. But my whole purpose is, is you know, go to him first. Okay. Um, when you feel like you're drowning in life, don't worry. Your lifeguard walks on water. That's very powerful. There is a image on Pinterest that I love to see, and it's of this person just like submerged in the bottom of water, and they're lifting their hand up, and Jesus is standing there walking on the water, stretching his hand down. And it's like, just take my hand. And like, like I just said a minute ago, you know, just go to him first. Just take his hand. When you feel like you're just in this this drowning water of, of debt and jealousy and anxiety and depression and confusion and addiction and whatever you're going through and you just feel like, oh my, no, I'm way too far in this pit. No, you're not. That is the enemy it's whispering in your ear. The enemy wants you to admit defeat. The enemy wants you to stay at the bottom of the pit, at the bottom of the water, drown yourself and say, oh, you're not going to make it. You're not going to succeed. You're not pretty enough. You're not smart enough. You're not thin enough. You're not funny enough you're not whatever it may be and the enemy is trying to tell you you're not all these things but you are you are what God made you to be okay I'm not funny okay God didn't make me to be funny and I may not be beautiful enough and thin enough and and is smart enough like these other people but I do what I do okay I take care of my family and I help others and I do what I meant to do to do in life okay so you need to find your purpose and you need to not let the enemy ever ever tell you you're not good enough or you can't accomplish that you get back up and say no I'm not quitting I can't accomplish this and when you're defeating the enemy by standing back up and stomping your foot on him and saying no I can do this and I will by the help of God I can do this okay and then the last quote I have for you today is, the best way to fight evil is to do good. That is so true in so many ways. Okay, so say you're depressed or you're sick or you're angry or you're fighting with somebody or you're just drowning in debt or, you know, your situation is just like bad, okay? And you're like sitting in your pity party and you're like, woe is me, everything ha is bad is happening. The best, best way to deal with that, I promise you, because I've done it several times, is to help somebody okay whether it be a neighbor needs for you to listen 
or watch somebody's kids or or help with a pet or go grocery shopping or just let them vent to you or whether it's you're at the grocery store okay and you just somebody smiles and you smile back or just something do good for somebody and do something good that puts a tiny seed in you of joy okay because we're all human so we get pleasure in helping other people so I guess it's kind of a selfish thing but you help somebody else not only are you helping them but you feel good about yourself you're like well I helped that person and it puts a sense in you that you have a purpose and that you have a reason here and that there's no reason that you should give up or quit okay maybe seed by seed little by little God is showing you that you are important and you matter Okay, so, you know, this is saying to defeat the enemy, you go out there and you do good. No matter how big or how small of good you can do, you start by doing good and that angers the enemy and it makes him mad. And he kind of ends up backing off a little like, whoa, you're stronger than I thought. And you're like, dang right I am. I told you I was stronger. So you've got to believe in yourself and trust in yourself and please do not give up and do not quit. So that's all I have for you today. And I hope y'all have a great weekend and stay, stay sane and tune in next time. Thanks.